Okay, so this is to show you what my uh, Merkaba robe looks like from the side. Um, I have the usual hood that I always wear. I make sure to go almost all dark for my for anything under this robe. Um, it hasn't been that windy outside yet for me to actually wear this outside, but you know, I'll have no problem wearing it outside if it's uh, very, very windy. Um, yeah, I usually have it laid out on my couch, but um, I decided to give you guys what it looks like. This is the hood. Um, Yeah. Let me give you guys what it looks like from the back. Yeah, I could barely see the phone view because this little face shield gets in the way. Yeah, the face shield is uh, something that... <laughs> I, I can't see my feet. I could barely see my feet from this angle. Um, yeah, it was amazing design. Here's what it looks like with my face all the way almost covered. But if you, I think if you have your face all the way covered, you're going to bust your ass and fall. So it's just better to have this, this little opening right here so I could see. But I cannot see my feet. If I look down, I, I won't be able to see my feet at all. Uh, very, very limited vision. But this is really for, um, I mean, if you want to look as normal as possible outside, this is really for very very windy coldy day cold days windy very cold yeah but yeah this gives me almost like a i feel every time i wear this around this makes me look like a little red riding hood i have this little red riding hood uh, effect going a tall red riding hood since I'm six, six one, six two. <laughs> yeah, big red riding hood, and it comes with this this strap. So yeah, and I had a button buttoned up. This is what it looks like. I had the hood tied up. Yeah, but I, at this point, I'm just undoing it to let you guys see what it looks like you could see yeah, this is the uh, strap i used to to swing around i'm only can't do it because i'm only i only have this phone i have this phone in my hand but with two hands yeah, i usually pull to adjust this wind this face shield but I really, really, really like the face shield, though. The face shield makes it look extra unique. So all I did was swing it around again. You could see uh, so the uh, hood on. Like I said, very, very limited vision here. So this is really just to block your face. You could see my eyes come through here. But. You see that? I just pulled the strap that came with the face face cover. And yeah, I make it look like a park. I um I rarely ever put my hands through here, um because I figured if it's cold outside, um I'm I'm gonna be. This is almost like a blanket cover. Ooh. Let me give you a closer look. Look at that detail. Like this part right here. Yeah. 
Molotov without taxes or war bonds. Do you just want to borrow from the public for general purposes? Yeah, I could just keep my hands under here. It does have a cape effect, so I like that it has a cape effect. Um, and the collar too, the collar in the back that pops. Yep, so this is the robe. So this is all I had at the, this is all I had uh, at the bottom. It's very, very casual, all black, nothing red. Um, yeah. Let me show you what the hoodie looks like. I have an extra hoodie that looks very, that, that fits very well with this casual look. This is like if I'm going outside and picking up milk. Um, yeah. And boom, right here. So this is the uh, hoodie. Again, I'm still wearing the casual um, sweater-like hoodie that I have right under this. But this hoodie that I have on top gives me like a a much uh, harder harder look. If it's colder outside, this is what I usually put on top if I'm in a rush to go somewhere. So some of you uh, wanted more detail about the uh, robe. This is an update. Um, I've put it on. Okay, first of all, I put a bed in my living room. And don't mind this dog here. I'll be walking her outside later. But um, but yeah, it's hung up just uh, on this bed frame. It's a wooden bed frame that I have it hung up on.